Bienvenue. Hey everyone, welcome to a new video and today we will be taking a look at the Overlord Creator Arceus. If you watched the video about the normal Creator Arceus, not this Overlord one, you already know how it works. It's kind of pretty similar, but before we start I just want to reply to some frequently asked questions that I saw on the community. So I have updated the article over here on Pokemon Legends Club that has like a bunch of information that you might need about this Arceus, but one of the things that I want to say is that, that yes, this Arceus uses both type of attacks, physical attack and special attack on every single ability. So it does not mean, like, if you guys go and read the abilities and if something doesn't say the special and physical, it's just a mistake on the translation, okay? He uses special attack and physical attack on all of his skills. But it's not advised that you build, like, with both attacks. When you want to build a Pokemon like this, just focus on one attack because then it's easier for you to later inherit to another Pokemon if you like. Uh, another thing that I want to talk about is about the personality. So I updated this a little bit over here as well. The personality, since he uses both attacks, it can be naive or hasty, also can be timid, cheerful. Honestly, we just like the plus speed. We love the plus speed, it's always awesome. It can be any of those. But for example, uh, right now I'm using Hasty on this one. If you watched the video yesterday, uh, the other Arceus had a different personality. But ignore that because as, uh, as some of you already know, this is a dev account. All the Pokemons that are put over here, they are generated randomly. So all the personalities are random. And yeah, this one is Hasty. It was actually a coincidence, it was lucky to be hasty over here, uh, but like for example if you are using a special attacker like it's over here, if you want, you can go timid. What is the, uh, what is the bad thing about being timid? Because you might be asking like Danny, but he uses both attacks. Why would you want a timid personality that reduces the physical attack? And, well, that's really up to you, up to the kind of player that you are, really. Because if you are a player that uh, does not play League Conference, you can just go for a timid or something like that, uh, or it's cheerful according to the, to the stat that you want to increase, if it's special attack or physical attack. Uh, you should only care about, like, the timid or cheerful versus this uh, hasty or naive, and only if you play League Conference. That's the only thing, uh, because then your damage will be uh, reduced over here on the conference. But then again, this is a freshly released Pokemon. I'm not even sure if like that lack of damage will matter, because, well, it's a new Pokemon, new typing. We will talk all about that right now, and it should be hitting very hard. Before we talk about the skills, let's talk about the type of this Pokemon. It has a brand new type, which is Infinity type, and it's amazing. All of his skills actually are Infinity type. If you come and take a look over here, all of his damaging skills are Infinity type. And what is Infinity type? Over here on the element, we can see that Infinity type, if we click on it, it will deal super effective damage to every single type except Infinity type. But honestly, I believe this is bugged right now, and it's also doing super effective damage to Infinity type. So everybody, is, it's doing just restriction damage to every single thing. So there's no way you can you can protect yourself against Infinity type right now because there's no like hidden skills that like we have a nice resist over here uh there's no infinity type resist for example so this guy is supposed to be doing a lot of damage speaking of damage let's take a look into his skills the passive is exactly the same as the normal one you have 50 percent defenses and attacks uh, on the battle start and also a shield of 200% of your own max HP. This lasts for three rounds, cannot be dispelled, the, the stats at least, uh, but the, H the shield can be dispelled. Over here it says that it cannot be dispelled, but the shield can be dispelled. Uh, we already tried against, like for example, sword and shield, sadly, because if the shield could not be dispelled, 
this for sure would be like one of the top Pokemons, and right now it is. It is. I consider it like to be one of the top Pokemons, but this would probably like be a very like much better Pokemon if the shield was not dispelled. Also, when starting the round, he will mark a random enemy uh, with this icon over here. You guys can see it in the battle. Uh, and that enemy will take 50% more damage from Arceus. If that enemy dies, he will mark another one. Simple. Let's start with skill number one. Dispels all the buffs from the target, so it's basically the same as the normal one. A single target skill, nothing else too special to see over here. And if you have already used your buff before, this skill will deal 50% more damage. On the Z option though, the only difference is, if you already used your buff in this round, in this game, this skill will deal 150% more damage. Look at this, beautiful one shot. Oh, and another cool thing about the skill number one is that if the enemy uh, is not marked, you will transfer the mark to that Pokemon. So right now Hoopa is marked, so Hoopa is supposed to take 50% more damage, right? And over here, if we use it on Zoroark, we can see Hoopa doesn't have the mark, Zoroark has the mark right now. And this happens before the attack from what I'm seeing. So basically, let me see. Right now, this uh, this guy has the mark. We all ju we'll just use the buff since it dispels the Guardian Souls. It's not in any description. Right now, with one X, we should be able to just uh, use the single target move. And before the attack hits, the mark is transferred. So basically, before the attack, you are already like dealing massive damage. Uh, you have you already have your 50% damage increase for your from your passive. It's awesome. So the skill number two, we have the buff. As we saw yesterday, like not yesterday, two days ago with the normal Arceus, this one also has like a specific interaction, which is removing the the Guardian Souls. Like it's not in any description whatsoever. If you guys come over here and see, it says it only dispels uh, all the debuffs from himself, uh, dispels all the flying, diving, etc. that the enemy has. And if used for the first time, you get your rage bar full. So you can just start the battle with this and you are ready to use your ultimate. And uh, it will be immune to all the debuffs. This buff lasts for three rounds. Oh, and of course, this will give you 50% attacks, defenses, and 200% of your own max HP shield. 200% shield of your own max HP. Keeping in mind that this does not stack with your passive. On the Z buff, we have some things different. First of all, you can move again. So, uh, dispel all the buffs from itself and can make another move. You will move again after using your Z buff. Second thing that I did not mention on the previous one, the both normal and, and Z ones also increase your attack and f special attack permanently. Does not say the numbers over here, sadly. But also permanently be immune to all debuffs. So over here, it should be only for three rounds. If you use the Z buff, you should be permanently uh, immune to debuffs just forever, permanently. Yes, that's what permanently means. And also removes the cooldowns of all the skills of all the other teammate Pokemon. But honestly, if you're using the Sarkis, you're probably uh, using him as a main attacker. So the others will not have that big of a chance to move. But it can always be useful. Skill number three is basically the same as the normal Tarp. Arceus, let's say the non-type Arceus. It's just a group skill, 50 skill power. It will uh, deal some damage. In this case, of course, it does like a decent amount of damage because it's infinity type. Um, and, but the thing is, you will get 50% rage after you use this, this attack and clears all the cooldowns of the other skills. The Z one is basically the same, but you have 50% more crit damage. That's basically it. So the Z1, more crit damage, there you go. I mean, you don't even need the crit damage. This guy is doing a lot of damage by himself. He already one-shots everything. And finally, the ultimate. Now, this might be massive on this Pokemon. It's just a group skill. <laughs> Ignores defenses, does not ignore uh, shields or guardian souls, I believe. We will test it out. But after you use this, you have your attacks, both of your attacks and both of your defenses increased by 15% permanently. 
this skill has a cooldown of two rounds, but should be no problem because you should be able to use this skill over here and you remove the cooldown of this uh, ultimate. So it should be actually very damn nice. Let's just give it a try really quick over here. As you can see, it does not ignore Guardian Souls, so it is working properly, but once they don't have any Guardian Souls, it's just, yeah, it's just gonna be uh, free stuff. And then we just use the second skill over here. This Hoopa will move, I'll just put on 3x really quick. Uh, kill the Mesprit, it's okay, but now I can use the ultimate again, because this just clears the cooldowns. On the Z ultimate, though, uh, it has 50% more crit damage and it will increase your physical attacks, uh, your attacks and defenses by 30%. Now, the only thing that I think it might be bad over here, let's take a look at our attacks and defenses. Looking at the special attack, 963 and defenses around 400, 450. We just use the Z ultimate. The only thing that is bad over here is that he does not hit Pokemon that are flying, dodging, etc. He has his own buff to remove all of that, right? So now what happened is that he missed the attack, but even though he misses... Um, okay, I had a little bit of a brain lag, honestly, because I was wondering why were my stats low. Uh, it's mostly because I ran out of buff, so I had those, uh, <laughs> I had the, that buff from my passive, and I was wondering, like, why did my stats, uh, went down? No, 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 no. It's because I did not have my buff equipped. Uh, can I buff, please? Thank you. There you go. We have a buff now. Now Mr. Hoopa will attack me. It's okay. Now, if I check my stats... Yes, now I have, like, massive... Uh, now I have massive stats. So, like, uh, uh, <laughs> I, I used the ultimate, then I went to check the stat increase, thinking like, oh, I have a lot of stats now. But then I forgot that the stats from my passive were gone. The three rounds were gone, so I had to use my buff again to get those 50% extra defenses and attacks. Now you can see the Pokemon has a lot of buffs. Like, actually massive. And it, it feels awesome, really. Now, this is way too early to start talking about teams, but let me give you guys some predictions. This Pokemon is a little bit of a solo Pokemon, he doesn't have any weather buffer that will benefit him directly. So we want to th bring things to the team that will just help him stay in the battle. One of the things can be like Eon Duo. It's a cheap team, works on basically every situation. Another cool option is just using a spotlight Pokemon, a Pokemon with a spotlight ability, and then a buffer. It can be an Overlord Ho-Ho, it can be uh, an Overlord Victini if you have. Also could be something like imagine that you would actually have this guy laying around, Overlord Shadow Mewtwo. It will increase the restriction with his passive. If you have this guy around and you never used it, this might be the time for you to use him or I mean as a last scenario one of the things that he can be used for as well is instead of using him as an attacker you can use him as a spotlight Pokemon he has the spotlight ability so like it's a Pokemon starts the battle with a lot of defenses a 200% HP shield it could be a decent spotlight Pokemon it's just that honestly but yeah this is it all for me for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, all the good stuff, and I'll see you guys on the next video.